Hey guys, welcome to the Tom Reefer Studio. New viewers, this is the 20 gallon cube mixed reef. And this is the 3.5 gallon Pico, LPS dominated. Back there we have the six gallon tall. And over here we have the newest addition, the 10 gallon Peninsula Reef. And today, we're going to talk about what this stuff can do for your tank. And it's all going to happen right here, like always. Right, check this out, guys. This is what we're going to talk about today. I can't believe we're going to put vinegar in our tanks. It works, and I'm gonna tell you why. All right, today what I wanted to talk about is carbon dosing. I actually stumbled upon doing it by noticing something going on in my aquarium, and I had a little correspondence with one of the viewers about carbon dosing. I talked about adding some vinegar into your ATO, and I may have mentioned this before, if you add vinegar into your ATO, it helps dissolve the calquasser. So his question to me, because he did some research, and said, well, if you're adding vinegar into your ATO and that's going into your tank, is that a source of carbon dosing? And absolutely it is. At the time, I wasn't sure about the quantity, but it's all about quantity with carbon dosing. And in our case, I want to talk about using vinegar. What I noticed to happen in my tank over the last few weeks is the biggest thing I noticed is the coloration of my aquapora started to really color up. That's one of the benefits in carbon dosing. A lot of your corals will brighten up. So and the get first colored. question you would ask is, how does it work? And it's really easy. It's a basic principle, organic carbon. It's a food. For bacteria. So when you put it into your tank, your bacteria consumes it and begins to multiply and grow. What does your biological filter do? It's all about the bacteria consuming nitrate. I look at it as it's kind of supercharges your reef tank. So you're producing way more bacteria than your live rock and what you normally would have in your tank by adding the vinegar into your water. Let's talk about the benefits. The first main benefit is reducing nitrate. Now before I go too much further, you know, you want to take a look at why your nitrates are high anyway. You know, if you have over 30 parts per million nitrate and you suddenly say, okay, I'm going to start dosing vinegar to reduce my nitrates, you know, you want to wonder why your nitrates are so high and maybe take a different direction to get it down lower in a more simplistic way, whether it be water change or not feeding as much, or maybe you're overstocked, you know, those types of so things. So the first benefit is it's been shown to lower nitrate and phosphate. Nitrate more than phosphate. Phosphate lives in the rocks, deep within the rocks and in your sand bed. So if you're adding vinegar to the water column, the bacteria is reproducing and consuming nitrate and phosphate. There's still so much phosphate in your rocks and in your sand bed, it just takes a lot longer for it to reduce phosphate. You can see some results in a matter of a few weeks to a month in lowering your nitrates. The second benefit is increased coloration in SPS corals. And that's why I started to think, well, let's see what I can do with it. And I've also noticed an increased growth. Mm -hmm. 
That's definitely something I've noticed since I've been putting the vinegar in my ATO. And I'm putting quite a bit in, but probably not a lot in terms of dosing it in a little at a time straight. It's also been known to enable you to increase your feeding because you're taking nitrate and some phosphate out of the water. And also there's been some studies that the water clarity in your water becomes much more clear. In the last video, in one of the comments, somebody mentioned, how do I get my water so clear? And I'm thinking, that's true. It has been looking really crystal clear the last few weeks. So maybe that's what it's here. Here's some of the cons. The first one that I would want to mention is just the idea of how much to put in. So overdosing, and I guess you could underdose, you just won't see any of an effect. But the first reason would be overdosing. So if you put too much in, now your oxygen levels can go down too low. So if your oxygen is lower, what else can go low? Yes, your pH and alkalinity will drop. It's possible it can promote other forms of bacteria like cyano and some unwanted algae growth. So it's a delicate balance with how much you put into the tank. It's important to really measure and test if you're going to attempt to carbon dose. The other thing you would want to do is watch very closely what's happening to your corals. That's a first sign. If you can look really closely, testing is one thing, but really watch your corals closely to see if there's any negative or adverse looking effects happening with them. that you'll need before you start. I would recommend a skimmer. A skimmer is really important because you want to keep your oxygenation up. And obviously a really good quality test kit. I would use salifert for nitrate and you want to test your pH and you want to test your alkalinity during the process. All right, the next step is how do you dose it? I've been adding 15 milliliters of vinegar per gallon with my half teaspoon of Kalkwasser in my ATO. So over a week, I'm essentially putting 15 milliliters in my 10 gallon. Now if I go to the 20 gallon, in that ATO, I believe I was putting, there's five gallons in there, so I'm putting 60 milliliters into the ATO water along with the Kalkwasser. My issue is kind of hard because I have three tanks, so I'm really going to have to trial and error it in my situation. I have three tanks with probably slightly different evaporation levels, and I have to keep an eye on all three of them. So it's not like I'm dosing from my ATO the vinegar all into one. You want to make sure you don't let your vinegar or whatever carbon you're using in your ATO to sit in there for more than a week. Anything more than a week, what will happen is bacteria will start to form and consume the carbon source in your ATO water, so then you're really not dosing any vinegar into your tank. The other way is like any other way. You can manually dose, figure out your calculations. I would say you can start with a minimal amount of vinegar in the morning, sometimes you can do it twice a day, in the morning and then before your lights are out. Check out this chart here that I made, but it's gonna be a simple chart to show you how much you should put in.
like anything we do, guys, if you see any kind of adverse effect, then you would probably reduce, I would say, by half. Drop your amount by half. But the key is all along the way you're testing. So I wouldn't test daily, but every few days I would test. But you definitely want to observe your tank daily. So bottom line is any adverse effect, you back off on it or stop doing it altogether. But I would give it a try if you'd like. You know, if your nitrates are... Look guys, it's all about what your tank looks like. Once again, if you have 60 parts per million nitrate and your tank looks great, well then don't vinegar dose, right? But if you want to just experiment and see, well, what would my tank look like if I got it down to trace or one part per million nitrate? You know, and you can't do it with water change. Something's going wrong with your tank that you can't keep your nitrates low. Try the vinegar dose. All right, that should do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we learned something. I think we'll have to come back to that. I'm sure you'll have questions. I'm sure I forgot stuff. Now, this isn't something that I'm, you know, like I'm not a scientist. I'm just your average reefer who's done it for a long time. And I'm cautious and you be cautious and you won't hurt your tank, that's all. And do some research. I mean, I'm partly your research, but I also did some research before this video. I don't just like, how do I learn stuff? How have I learned stuff over 25 years? I've researched, asked the right people. So that's how you do it. All right, so have a great day and I'll see you on Water Change Wednesday. Everything's going good, guys. So have a great day, all right? Take care now.